As America's most popular dog breed, the Labrador Retriever is undoubtedly the one canine celebrity recognized by even non-dog people. They reign supreme at the top of the AKC's breed popularity ranking and have held the number one spot for over 30 years now. But what is it about these dogs that makes them so popular? Is it their friendly, outgoing, and high-spirited personality? Or maybe something else? You can decide that for yourself while we cover some of the breed's key characteristics in today's video of the top 10 interesting facts about the Labrador Retriever. But before we begin, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original lab owners in the video. The video would not have been possible without their help. So do check out these adorable puppers from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History Despite their name, Labrador Retrievers are not actually from Labrador. Their actual place of origin is Newfoundland, where they were first bred by European settlers and were known as St. John's Dogs. These dogs had been long employed as helpers and companions to fishermen, retrieving fish and ducks for their owners during the day and spending time with their family in the evening. English sportsmen noticed the dog's usefulness and good disposition, so a few of them were introduced to Britain, where they were bred with British hunting dogs to create what we know today as the Labrador Retriever. The breed gained fame among nobles, with the second Earl of Marmsbury being one of the first owners, while the third Earl was the first person to refer to the dogs as Labradors. By the 1880s, new taxes on dogs in Canada and a quarantine of animals imported to England led to the original St. John's dog facing extinction. Fortunately, the breed survived in England and the Kennel Club recognized the Labrador Retriever as a distinct breed in 1903 with the American Kennel Club following suit in 1917. The breed's popularity began to take off after the Second World War and in 1991, Labs became the most popular dog registered with the AKC, which is a position they've held ever since. Number 2 their physical features. Although there's a great deal of variety among Labradors, there are some characteristics that can be pinned down as the breed's key features. First up, male Labs usually stand 22 to 24 inches in height and weigh 65 to 80 pounds, while females are a little smaller with a height of 21 to 23 inches and a weight of 55 to 70 pounds. Their head is broad with slightly pronounced eyebrows and kind expressive eyes that are either brown or hazel in color. Their short and dense double coat protects them from cold and comes in three colors, chocolate, black, and yellow. Despite popular beliefs that the lab's coat color indicates their character, like yellow labs being lazy while black labs being the best hunters, there is not enough evidence to suggest that these beliefs are true. Number 3. Their love for water As a breed that was developed specifically for helping fishermen, it should come off as no surprise that Labradors would have an affinity with water. As a result, you'll often find your lab playing around with their water bowl or going for a dip if there is a large body of water nearby. What's more, selective breeding over the years has led to the breed developing some characteristics that make them all the more suited to water. Their thick and strong tail is aptly called an otter tail as it acts like a rudder and helps the dogs swim. Their webbed feet further aid them with moving in the water and their double coat is waterproof and also helps keep them warm. So it's a good idea to take your lab for a swim every now and then as they quite enjoy it and it also helps with giving them the exercise they need. Number 4. Their personality According to the AKC, the true Labrador Retriever temperament is as much a hallmark of the breed as the otter tail. The breed has garnered the reputation for being one of the most sweet-natured dogs and that reputation is indeed well-deserved. They're outgoing, eager to please, and friendly with both people and other animals. Yet, their working history gives them a high-energy, fearless, and enthusiastic personality. Your lab can be a calm house dog, playful yard dog, and intense field dog all on the same day. However, their hunting instincts can cause them to roam about while lack of physical stimulation may lead to other unwanted behaviors like chewing and excess barking, so proper training and exercise are very important. Number 5. Their Training If proper training is so important for a well-behaved lab, you might be wondering just how much of a hassle it's gonna be. But don't worry, it might not be as hard as you'd think, because these dogs are not only quite intelligent, but are also naturally inclined to please their humans. As a result, they learn new tricks easily and are quite easy to train. Labrador puppies have lots of energy and exuberance and will grow into very strong dogs, so owners have to make sure to train their pups properly from a young age to make sure that strength and energy can be well controlled. It's a good idea to enroll your lab in puppy training and obedience classes as soon as possible. Ample socialization from a young age is also necessary for your lab to be a well-rounded dog. Number 6. Their Exercise 
but training may help curb your lab's energetic behavior to some degree. Playtime and exercise are obviously the best way to burn off that excess energy. A lab who doesn't get enough exercise is likely to engage in hyperactive and destructive behavior to release their pent-up energy, so it's also in your best interest to keep your pup well exercised. In general, a healthy adult Labrador needs around an hour of exercise every day. Besides walks, these dogs also enjoy other activities such as hunting, retrieving, and swimming, and they even excel in canine sports such as agility, obedience, tracking, and dock diving. To accommodate their abundant energy, a home with a big backyard or space nearby is ideal. You can also get your lab puzzle toys and other mentally challenging games to give them the mental stimulation they need. Number 7. Their Versatility not only are labs great at canine sports, but they're also one of the most popular choices for therapy, search and rescue, and even drug and bomb detection. These guys are also most commonly used breed for guide and service purposes, because they're the right size, they're easily adaptable by nature, and they're also quite easy to train. Their ability to work in water has also made them one of the best choices for water rescue or life-saving work. However, their most impressive job would be cancer detection. Thanks to their powerful noses, Labrador Retrievers have been trained to sniff out and identify early stages of cancer. In fact, one of the most successful ways to screen for early stages of ovarian cancer is by letting a lab sniff a patient. Have you ever seen a diligent lab working? What were they doing? Leave a comment below to let us know. Number 8. Their Nutrition while most other factors may not be as big of a concern for lab owners, when it comes to feeding, you gotta pay a little bit of extra attention. Labs are infamous for their love of eating, and they can grow obese very quickly. As a result, along with plenty of physical activity, you need to keep a close watch on what and how much they eat. This depends on a lot of factors, like your dog's age, size, activity level, and food allergies, so you'll have to try and figure out what works best for your pup. In general, we recommend feeding your dog 2.5 to 3 cups of high-quality dog food divided into 2 meals a day. However, just be warned that your lab's large appetite extends to even stuff they shouldn't eat like garbage and even children's toys. This can pose further health hazards like poisoning and choking, so be wary of what goes into your pup's mouth. Number 9. Their Grooming the sleek double coat of the Labrador is quite easy to care for. Weekly brushing is enough to keep these dogs looking their best. However, they do shed quite a bit, especially so during shedding season in the spring and fall. During this time, you'll have to brush your dog daily to get rid of all that loose fur. Also get a good vacuum cleaner if you're planning to get a lab. And believe us when we say that the fur is going to be everywhere. Bathe your dog about once every two months or if they roll around in something dirty. Remember to brush your dog's teeth and trim and clean their nails regularly. Number 10. Their Health Labs are generally healthy, but like any other breed, there are some health conditions that these guys are susceptible to. Not all labs will get any or all of these diseases, but as a responsible owner, it's your duty to ensure you do all you can to give your pup a healthy life, which includes educating yourself on these different conditions. Common conditions observed in labs include hip and elbow dysplasia, eye issues, epilepsy, obesity, and bloat. Their love for water also makes them quite prone to ear and skin infections, so make sure to maintain proper hygiene and clean them up after they take a dip somewhere. You can also help maintain your dog's good health by getting your pup from an ethical breeder and scheduling visits to the vet in a timely manner. With proper care, labs can live a long and healthy life of about 10 to 12 years. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Labrador Retriever. Thank you so much for watching the video. With how popular these dogs are, it would be no surprise if you own or have owned a lab yourself. If so, leave a comment below to let us know about your wonderful companion. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and share if you learned something new. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.